Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem then trigonometry to find a missing side. Now this is using skills that we've already learned in previous videos and I'm assuming you know how to use Pythagoras theorem and I'm assuming you know how to use trigonometry on right angle triangles like the kind of soccer toa stuff. So let's look at this problem we're trying to find this side with length x and we've got two triangles here we've got this triangle over here and this triangle over here. Now at the moment on the left triangle we don't have enough information to work out x because the only thing we know is that 54 degree angle there and I suppose we know the 90 degree angle as well and if we want to use trigonometry we would have to know a side and an angle in order to work out another side but we don't know any of the sides of this so we can't work out x however in this right triangle over here We've got two of the sides of the right angle triangle. Now, if we know two of the sides of the right angle triangle and we want to find out the third, what do we use? Well, we use Pythagoras theorem, don't we? So let's label the sides. Do you remember Pythagoras theorem? A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared, where C is the hypotenuse. So if this is the hypotenuse, the C, and then we make the other two lengths, A and B, then if we substitute these lengths in, we get a squared, well, we'll just leave it as a because we don't know what it is, a squared plus b squared, so 11.5 squared is equal to c squared, so 14.5 squared. Now I'm just going to do this quickly because we've explored this in a previous video. I can do 14.5 squared minus 11.5 squared, which is 78. And then if a squared is 78, a is the square root of 78. And you know what? I don't actually need to work out what the square root of 78 is. I can just leave this as a square root of 78 because I can input the square root of 78 directly into my calculator later rather than using what it is as a decimal. Now, we've got enough information to work out what x is. Now, if I draw this triangle on the left separately, we've got this angle of 54 degrees here. We've got the root 78 here. And we've got the x over here. Remember how Sokotoa works? We label the sides we're interested in. Well, we're interested in this side where we're trying to work out x. That is the hypotenuse, so we put the h. And then this side is opposite that angle, so we label it as o for opposite. If you think about Sokotoa, we're involving o and h. o and h, that's so, so it's sine we want. So we do sine of the angle, the 54 degrees, is equal to the opposite, which is the root 78, over the hypotenuse, which is x. And then do you remember my little trick for this? You can swap the thing you're dividing by and the thing on the other side of the equation. So you can swap these two to get x is equal to root 78 over sine 54. We can always use this trick if the x, the variable, is in the denominator of the fraction. So we then put that into our calculator, root 78 over sine 54 and that gives you 10.9166 and what do we want it to one decimal place so 10.9 will do uh, and that's in centimeters and that's the final answer.